Oh, uh, these windows are very bright, which is lovely. Um, but they're a bit too white when I'm stood right in front of them. I look like Casper at Renly Ghost. Also, I am not fake tanning at the minute, and it's it's making me sad. Um, I've not fake tanned for maybe five weeks, so I'm desperate for a bit of tan. I've ordered like a thing to go in the bed. I'm trying to show you. I'm going off on a tangent here. Um, it's a thing to go in the bed so it won't make my sheets ming in, which is one of the reasons I've not fake tanned because I don't want to ruin my nice new sheets. I think we'll come back here. Um, I feel a bit weird doing that. So I thought I would start a moving vlog. We have actually moved now. Um, it's going to be a bit of a roundup. I was going to do a vlog last week, but it was just getting a bit hectic. And quite a few things have gone wrong. <laughs> I decided the vlog was just me putting wardrobes up and talking about Coco Wee in the bed. So um, I psyched her. So Coco was a bit stressed, um, which once Coco's happy, we're happy and she's fine now. We've also got no boiler. The boiler's not working. We seem to have a thing for boilers that want to break. We had it in the last house at January. Luckily now it's not that cold, so we're coping fine. I think we just wanted to get a bit more straight and settled, but there's quite a lot going on now and hopefully the next few weeks it's gonna to start to pick up again. because so we were waiting on people to come and do jobs and things. So now we've got people coming. This morning I'm gonna to pop to TK Maxx. If I get anything from there, I will show you. And then after that, I'll show you sort of wardrobes wise. That's currently what Dan's doing upstairs. He's just finished off some bits for my wardrobes, which is nice. And I'll show you a few of the things that we've got going on in the house. I'm back from TK Maxx. Um, still got my little shacket on seeing as we've got no heating. I just ended up getting these clear acrylic things which I think are becoming quite popular again because of the home edit. I have actually ordered some of the home edits storage things but for like the kitchen. These were just some little ones that I thought I could use in the bathroom cabinet that we've got. And then I got this which is like an enamel topped storage box I just thought that was quite pretty so got that for my studio mainly I thought I could put receipts or things like that in there oh I'll also show you my new dinner stuff so it came the other day very exciting bought it from West Elm it was a bit of a treat I mean it wasn't ridiculous not like crazy expensive but obviously when you want like a full set it adds up doesn't it I've just put a few bits in here for now it probably won't stay here I think there is room I'll see how we go with the storage in the kitchen this is the range it's from West Elm I think it's called Carlo or something like that I bought four of everything but various bits we're using at the minute so this is like a big serving dish and it's got so it's like a a white glaze on the outside but sort of off-white and then quite neutral in the middle which I think goes quite nice with the sort of colours. A bit smarter, but nothing too fancy that I'm gonna feel like so precious about it if I break anything. I just think they look quite nice there. I don't know if Dan will be a fan of putting them there. We'll see. Um, but I do feel like otherwise we're not gonna have that many glasses. Like we might have a bit of booze maybe on the bottom. We've also put on some fancy little bits there. Well, these were from Etsy, so they weren't cheap, but I just think there's only two, so I could justify it on that. I'm going to go help Dan with the wardrobes now, so he's just finishing them off. I'll show you some bits as we did them. It took me a while, it took me like a bloody week to do wardrobes, but I was waiting on things from Ikea and stuff. But I think it's now pretty much done, I just need some little handles, so I need to pick what sort of handles I'm having. So this wardrobe is the one that the seller left, so she didn't want these, so she said if we wanted them we could have them, which I obviously did want them. They'd already got the rails in, they'd also got two drawers, but I'm adding some more drawers. I'm not very good at planning IKEA furniture, it would seem, because I've realised I need wire baskets for the bottom, because I want to have doors on, I'm just not about this life. I ain't got a nice capsule wardrobe vibe going on, so I just want doors to show it away. I've got a couple of tray bits as well, which is exciting because I feel like they always look really nice and glam. So I'm just gonna get on with that and try and tidy it up a bit. Right, let's have a go. This outfit is not gonna be flattering, I can tell, but I can't be able to get changed. 
So I've just started putting a few bits in. I didn't actually fetch many accessory bits. I've kind of fetched the basics. But I thought these would be quite good for scrunchies. Got my belts there. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. I feel like I've worked hard this morning. <laughs> Um, so the rest of the stuff comes on Tuesday, so hopefully I'll be able to finish that off then. Look at that. Dan's done a right little job and got all the doors done. That looks so much better for me. <laughs> I just don't think I can be coping with the mess of my clothing. I've started to fill up a little bit more need a little glass shelf there that's the one that I've not been able to get because they're not in stock still got loads of hanging space I need to go through and sort it all out I haven't gotten to that yet that's a job to perhaps get my mum helping me with I'll add in the name of these wardrobe doors because they are quite nice they've got this like beveled edge so they shouldn't get too bad dusty wise I think it makes a big difference it makes this room look way neater just need to tidy up this little area um and then i've got more how many trousers do i think i've got so those are the baskets that mean i can have the hinges i didn't even realize that i'm sure when you go to ikea and go for it properly you wear that out pretty quickly but they're actually really decent like you can get loads in them because i kind of thought are they just going to be a bit of a waste of space but they're great for like jumpers i've put pajamas in one gym stuff in another so i'm actually Pretty happy with those i just need to get some little handles i don't know if to go for like long ones or just like knob handles let me know what you think we've also now got our curtains up which i love this double rod thing i'm really happy with that it's a curtain pole isn't it so we've got these foils these were some that i bought off amazon for like 15 quid which i'm glad about now because coco is not used to curtains and he's desperate to annihilate them i just make coco sound like the devil cat she's really not oh it's me <laughs> she must have heard us talking about her come on i know you're naughty aren't you you nearly ruined mummy's duvet didn't you it's been to the laundrette now so the duvet is fine with resolved last weekend's issue i'll do an update on the living room now because i feel like that looks most like we're actually living here we fetched our sofa over so it's nice and cozy oh i did order our new sofa i i know there's a lot of things that we've ordered it does feel like it makes you feel a bit sick the amount of things that we're buying but obviously we need new things and we've been saving for these things we ended up getting the next sofa which was a sofa that we looked at ages ago and didn't like but then we saw it yesterday in a different colour and really liked it i'll show you the colour that we're going for this is the sofa it's the houghton i don't know why this one says casual comfort um i hope there's not different types but it's the right hand chaise style so it should be a decent size the chaise will sort of go into the window a little bit but it's not a very deep chaise like it's not too long the only thing is it's not going to come until february <laughs> so I think because the current circumstances, everything's just taking longer. We couldn't really decide on getting an extra sofa or maybe like a snuggle seat. We were just weren't really sure on how it would fill the space. So we're going to see how we go with this one and then it'll be next summer with these delivery times if we do decide we want a chair. A few hours have passed. I'm still in my coat because obviously we've not got heating at the minute apart from the fire. So I've been playing with my new shark hoover that my mum and dad very kindly got us as a moving in gift and then living room it's looking a bit more finished i'll show you that so there we go we still haven't got curtains this should be coming tomorrow i think we've got the fire on to keep us nice and cozy while the boilers broke tv has gone on the wall which made a big difference before i've not really been team tv on walls but because we got a frame tv I quite like it i'm pretty into it the walls i did repaint this is now strong white by farrow and ball it was skimming stone before and it was just showing up a bit pink in certain areas and i wanted it to be quite neutral so i think it looks loads better we also painted all the skating boards the fireplace and stuff we've got a few little decorative things but it is literally just little bits that i fetched from the old house and we moved in our sofa so Sofa's tucked away here. We've got lovely afternoon sun today. It's looking a little bit lost in here. The one that we've got will go sort of from there so you can still open the door. 
into the corner and it will come out into the window a little bit but not too much because I didn't want it to take over the bay. But I think it looks fine for now. Ideally, once we're a bit more settled, we can have a nice big picture there, something like that. Teeny tiny coffee table. I've not found a coffee table yet that I'm sold on and I feel like I might wait now till the sofa comes. But I think it's looking better. So I'm feeling quite happy about it. This is the unit that I'm hopefully gonna paint and pop here, which is a bit messy with all the skybox and stuff. And now it's just there out the way until I paint it. And we've also got the lights coming. I'll try and insert a picture of the light. Uh, we've got one coming for there, but we're also gonna have spotlights put in. I don't know if we're keeping the middle one. We were sort of thinking of having spotlights put in here to keep it quite nice and modern because we've got quite a lot of nice features anyway. Then just having lots of lovely lamps and cozy lighting. Coco's loving life now. I think she's finally decided she's happy here. <laughs> this is where we've not decided on sofa wise if we will get an extra one or just a big seat but I'm not desperate for everything to match so we might just find something at TK Maxx or something like that. I'm hoping it looks better at least. <laughs> so that's where we're sort of up to now. We've got quite a lot going on next week, which I'm really excited about. Mainly things being delivered. We've also got the electrician in, so I think that's gonna change things a lot. Well, I've got my um, sockets. So these are the ones that we're going for. Um, they're like brass, they're not completely flat plate, but they are pretty flat. I feel like the electrician's gonna have a fit. But I've also got like little toggle switches as well. So they will be going in, I mean, not there, but you know what I mean. It feels like you're kind of going through phases where you're spending a lot of money and there's a lot going on, but nothing's happening because <laughs> you're waiting for things to be delivered or to be done, fixed. Hopefully we will have heating again as well next week. It's been a manic couple of weeks, but it's nice to be in. We're going to have a very cosy evening tonight and just chill out eat food and try and enjoy the nice fire that's keeping us toasty. I'll link anything that may be useful below for you and I will see you all soon.